I have a conspiracy theory. All right, and it's it's a let's it's, hear it. It's it's a shady one. So my theory is that ISIS isn't a real thing, and that it's like just a small group, like anonymous, who are just taking credit for all these terrible things that happen, even though they may or may not be behind it. Like the Orlando shooting. Remember how ISIS took took yeah. like, like, like took somebody. credit for that. Like, yeah. like they're stealing their friends' homework or something. <laughs> no, but, no, wait, like all then, te- all but, terrorist organizations so are you do that. that. All these... But then, like, yeah, and like the the shooter always dies before like before ISIS takes takes credit. Like they'll take credit for it. Like even though like, but they're really a relatively small group, and they're like really good at video editing. So like when people are getting beheaded, it's just like random people just beheading other random people, but they like. Impose open. ISIS things. So you're, so you're saying like ISIS is just a small group? But uh, yeah, ISIS really is like ISIS is like a, a front for like the for like a more nefarious thing, or it's just the taking Foundation? credit. Didn't they, <laughs> <use> <laughs> Stop. they control a large area of land. Yes, they do. Supposedly, <laughs> allegedly. Like a small group, but just like all these other acts have made it seem more. That we're able to take control. Yeah, the, the problem is like yeah. all all terrorist organizations do that. Like sometimes something happens and like three of them are like, yeah, that was us. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, that's not. Well, I mean, it makes them seem more powerful too. Like if they're like, hey, look, we did all these bad things that happened. Don't don't fuck with us. But all, but all of them can't have done them. Like, <laughs> all of them can't have done so it. Are you it, saying though. there's a larger organization that's doing all these, or just random acts that? Well, maybe they say maybe, or maybe s- not. It might be the New World Order and the Cloud People uh, who control the. <laughs> cancer satellites it's the lizard people <laughs> <laughs> or it or it might just be like this one like splinter group who's trying to take down things by like creating such political unrest that Mr. they just like dismantle things from the inside okay, in the beginning, <laughs> i thought you were gonna say that isis was just like a really small group and the government was like well they still are relatively yeah, speaking yeah, but yeah, i thought yeah, you were gonna yeah, say like the government speaking. was intentionally amplifying it to create a common enemy for the united states I wasn't sure. That's well, if you're, if you're trying to watch... Well, it hasn't worked. Are you trying to watch... <laughs> yeah, I know, it hasn't yeah. worked. But are I you thought... trying to watch men this? No, but I thought that's what you were... That's what I, I no, 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 no. I was, just, I was just thinking, like, ISIS is just taking credit for things, but they didn't actually do it. Like, yeah. they're not actually, like, affiliated with any of well, these terrible things that, that happen. Well, they take credit for it, because then it's like, they don't have to put in the effort to make all these bad things yeah, happen. Yeah, they don't have to, like, can... send their own men to go shoot themselves yeah, in the face after that, they shot 40 other yeah. people. Because so, that puts, puts them and their reputation at risk, but then once they see something like successfully carried out, they're like, oh, yeah, we did that. Look how strong we are. Like, don't, don't fuck with us. So Bin Laden was actually just like an internet troll. Was that <laughs> no. Yes. No, I think Bin Laden was a real person. He just like... He was like, like he was so. He like didn't actually do it. He's like an he just claimed to do it all. Day. But he had an AK and it was unregistered. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's punishable by death. In a different country. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. Yeah, that's my one theory. My my dad thought it was funny that he had a theory that there's like this, like did you ever see Eagle Eye? No. Me neither. But it, like the <laughs> idea is that there's a there's a computer who's like coercing people to like do acts of terrorism. And, uh, but because it's, and it's like a computer and no one knows that the computer's like telling these people, it's like making fake ransom threats. Like we have your family and we'll kill them if you don't do X, Y, and Z, oh. but it's a like computer. So there's no like actual splinter group. Wait, so is the computer, doing, is it like the computer is telling people to do horrible things. Oh, okay. so like, so like a- AI. Yeah. Some AI is like telling people to do horrible things and it's like, but like everyone thinks that it's like some sort of splinter group or like something yeah, like that so really do you think it like do you think it's possible for computers to like send a fake ransom note to someone and then like have them do something awful and then it turn out that like their family's totally fine and that the computer just like made it up that, just for that's lols difficult, though, because then it's like, no because you can just call is... up that family and be like hey you fine yeah i'm fine no, but, like, but they, because it's a computer it could like hack their iphones or whatever and then like they wouldn't be able to get in contact yeah, with them and like if like if this like the idea where like the computers are smart enough to do this, you got to think that everything is connected to the internet anyway. But True. that brings up the interesting question of like, let's say the person then like kills someone and then they're caught. It's like, who do you punish? Because technically that would be like a case of duress where they'd let the person go because he'd be like, oh, I was being blackmailed or something. Like I had no other choice. But then it's like, who do you? You can't punish the computer. Like. I mean, destroy it, I guess. I assume he could never prove that a computer told him to do this. Yeah, I don't see how that's it's, possible. It's kind of the so same idea as the, uh, the traffic, the traffic light thing. Like, oh, you remember right. how there was cameras at traffic lights? Yeah. And you would, uh, because, because traffic light, like, the traffic lights were issuing tickets, people were able to say that they were, they had a right to see their accuser, but because it was, like, a camera 
like a stationary camera on a traffic light. It's like they couldn't person. actually face their accuser, so they got off scot free and they had to stop using the cameras. I think it would be sort of along the same lines, where you can't put something to like you can't you can't put something to death that isn't alive. Yeah. I mean, I guess it would also depend on the origin of the computer, like where it's where the compute what kind. Of well, computer. if it's the kind of thing where like a bunch of different nations like built it on the ISS and then like they did it together then it's just like humanity's fault chris chris is like chris is doing like some autistic hand gestures he's like spazzing out like he's he's having like a tetanus attack he's trying to form naruto hand signs i should be dead does you you studied the blade right yeah well you did you study the blade or did you watch blade Blade Runner. Both Blade Runner. Th- Blade three. and Blade Runner. Sorry, yes. Andrew Andrew would definitely be... Uh, the fuck was the guy's name? I think it was like Dirk or something stupid. No, it was like Wreck. I was going to say Wesley Snipes. <laughs> no, no. I think the guy's name in, in uh, Do Android Stream of Electric Sleep, I think his name is like Rex. Or That's like about, Rick Deckard or something. Blade Runner? The, the book it's based on. Oh. The guy who hunts androids. Oh, right. I can't remember the dude's name. Andrew. Is. Andrew, where, yeah, you'd, you'd be him. I'd be that guy. Yeah. But then, like, you'd find an android and it would just kill you. <laughs> Wait, have you guys seen the movie iRobot? Back to the end. Yeah. yeah, I have. Yeah, so yeah. would it be kind of like that with the computer, like, where the computer is, like, in charge and, like, kind of has a mind of its own? Yeah, well, if it's autonomous, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I feel like I would definitely not be comfortable with, like, a creepy, like, robot attending to all of my needs. Like, I would yeah. not be okay with that. I like, those s- things were creepy. Like, they weren't, like, realistic at all. Yeah, like, they probably, were realistic. Yeah, like, what like, if they were really I still wouldn't be okay with that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't trust like, it. They, like, dress like an anime schoolgirl or whatever. I wouldn't right? trust it. Are you going to buy a sex bot? <laughs> I wouldn't trust I mean... <laughs> yeah, the ones I with, like, mean, the really I'm, dead eyes. That's not how like, desperate I am. The aperture eyes that, like, open when you, like, stick it in. I mean, in the movie, they tried to make it, like, creepy. Like, they went out of their way. That's what I mean. But, like, if they made it, like approachable or like look like a person or like you couldn't tell the difference no i probably still, i wouldn't I, trust I it i wouldn't one, trust it. like after a day regret my decision then probably just like shoot it <laughs> yeah that sounds <laughs> like more accurate like, I'll fuck up on another one <laughs> no. okay it depends if they look like that if it's like a fallout 4 mr handy i'd be fine with that but see that's different that's different mr. that's Handy's cool creepy, yeah. they're not creepy you're codsworth creepy hell, you're creepy you're not creepy fuck you, Andrew. <laughs> mr inhuman himself over here I mean, if Inhuman doesn't think they're creepy, I think it's fine. Mr. Handy's a badass. Yeah, they're cool. He Andrew would have a badass, Mr. Gutsy. But he's not, like, I wouldn't want him, like, changing my baby's diaper. Why? I mean, I don't think he can actually do that. Yeah, I don't think he can do that. Either. Remember, he calls he calls them to change the diaper. Yeah. He, crush them, he just, maybe. yeah, he would kill don't it. Don't think he physically can. He'd, like, accidentally use his buzzsaw hand. Wait, but that's just that he has morals, kind of. He's, like, yeah, no, they have morals. Like, they're actually cool. Yeah, and they can make judgment calls. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, I'm saying those are cool, but he they don't look human. Oh, they they're like no, they're floating like spheres, <laughs> pretty much. That's kind of sketchy. Like, I'll, I'll, like, I'll pull up a picture of it. But they have charming British <laughs> accents. No, you you would have a Mr. Gutsy. Yeah. Even if they're not supposed to be for house and they were used for war, you'd use a Mr. Gutsy. And uh, it would like accident. It would like saw one of your children. I want one of those like like U.S. military androids they had. They're like humanoids. Oh oh the um. I forget what they're called. What are those called? They have the, like, the eye beams. Yeah, they're assholes, though. They're yeah, they are assholes. assholes. Would you have a synth? Fuck no, I wouldn't but, have a synth. No, synths aren't people. Synths aren't people. <laughs> Unless you're Nick Valentine. Unless but, he you're would Nick just, Valentine. but he would just be my friend. I wouldn't give him I'm orders. I'm sure Nick Valentine was just like a, a person who was stuck into a synth's brain. Yeah, yeah, he was like a prototype, and they downloaded like the personality and of And there a, you go. Like, <laughs> yeah. Which, yeah. I like Nick a lot. Yeah, Nick was cool. No, Nick I'm fine cool. with Nick, but I wouldn't order him around to do stuff. He would just be like my pal. Well, obviously, you can't order Valentine around. Fuck yeah, you. you can. Did you guys ever see Chappie? I have not seen Chappie. I have not that seen Chappie. That sounds vaguely familiar, but... It's so, like, this it. guy, it basically codes a program for, like, artificial intelligence. And he puts it into, like, a robot that he stole. Like, a out-of-commission police robot or something. And, like, these police robots are, like... Like, everyone's, like, hailing them as, like, this great innovation. And this guy programmed one and stole it to like so that it would like have the capability to learn at an accelerated rate like it would start as an infant and it would have no idea what the hell is going on and it would learn by whatever environment it was in so in Chappie it basically gets kidnapped by Die Antwoord oh. Die Antwoord was it actually in the movie? mhm yeah oh my 
the the movie takes place in South Africa. Oh. So they're just like there and they're like they're like gangsters. They're like they're like teaching him how to be like a gangster and a thug. <laughs> and then like the one guy keeps like sniffing because he's like a cokehead, so he's like 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 so Chappie ah. picks that up and like everything he does is just like <laughs> like wiping his nose. But uh the idea is that Chappie like learns everything at an accelerated rate and like basically super like is able to recreate the same program that his creator made and like he stores his um the lady from D. Unford in in another in like an AI. He like downloads her consciousness and like at the end of the movie like puts her in another robot that looks like her. Chappie. Watch it. That's my recommendation. Mm-hmm. That's, That's my movie. recommendation for the day. That's my movie recommendation. Brought to you by Chappie. Chappie. Twenty percent off with product code CHAP. <laughs> code CHAP. That's C H A P, CHAP. Twenty percent off. Wait, so Cassie, I just showed you the picture of the. Yeah, Mr. Handy, that's British. weird. And they have like. That reminds me of that. They have like sarcastic British accents. It's great. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> that. Like, I feel like I'd just be like flying around and just like. It, it literally just flies around, does what it needs to do, and then like it just powers down. I feel like if that like was sentient, it would just fly around like pranking people. Like fly, like fly down, pull someone's hat off, and just like fly away. I mean, I guess the fear is like defective. I don't know. It just it doesn't seem it doesn't seem like like helpful. It seems like it would be evil.